So picture this. What if the ultimate speed limit of our universe, the speed of light, isn't always as rigid as we thought? I know, sounds crazy, right? But today we're diving into something called the Scharnhorst effect. If you've never heard of it, you're in for what might just be the biggest, wait what, moment of your day. Okay, grab your coffee, hold on to your neuron caps, and let's get into it. So let's start with the vacuum. Who doesn't love the idea of empty space? It sounds so peaceful, right? Total zero. But here's the bombshell. Empty space isn't empty at all. I know. It's literally teeming with these ghost-like particles that pop in and out of existence so fast we can't even measure them directly. They're called virtual particles, and they're part of what quantum physicists like to call, well, quantum foam. It's like the universe's frothy latte, but instead of milk, it's made out of these freaky quantum energy fluctuations. Sounds chill so far? Good, because it gets weirder. Now imagine two perfectly flat mirrors placed in the so-called vacuum, extremely close to each other, like just a few nanometers apart. Something incredible happens. This setup messes with the quantum foam. Yes, those virtual particles we just talked about. Between those two mirrors, certain wavelengths of these virtual particles can exist because, well, they're too big to fit. It's like trying to shove an elephant through a keyhole. So the vacuum in that tiny space between the mirrors becomes a little less foamy compared to the surrounding space. Makes sense? All right, here's where it gets absolutely mind-blowing. According to the Scharnhorst effect, the speed of light in that vacuum between those mirrors could, theoretically, be ever so slightly faster than in the vacuum of regular empty space. Yes, faster than light. You might be thinking, hold up, doesn't Einstein say light speed is the ultimate universal speed limit? Like nothing, nothing could break it? And the answer is, kind of? Einstein's rule about the speed of light applies within the framework of all known physics, standard, bog standard vacuum space. But here, with this manipulated quantum foam, things might tweak a little. And this isn't just science fiction, by the way. It's real, peer-reviewed theoretical physics. Wait though, before you get too excited, let me clarify one thing. Remember what I said? The speed difference is tiny, like minuscule. We're not talking about building spaceships to Mars at warp speed just yet. It's more like adding a couple of millimeters to a marathon. Now, incredibly small doesn't mean trivial though, because if this effect exists, it hints at something absolutely extraordinary. Our fundamental understanding of space-time might not be as, well, fundamental as we thought. Here's the hyper-focused gem of the day. Are you ready for this? The Scharnhorst effect isn't just about fiddling with light speed. It's actually testing our laws of causality. Think about it. If light could move even slightly faster, would it mean we're unraveling cause and effect? Like, imagine dropping your phone before you even tripped? Mind implosion, right? But hey, because the difference is so tiny, this isn't breaking reality. Yet. But back to our question. Could we ever measure this in a lab? That's where it gets tricky. And I mean really tricky. Building mirrors that close together, without quantum noise just mucking up the whole thing, is ridiculously hard. We'd actually need technology straight out of a sci-fi movie. So right now, it's all theory but a theory so beautiful it stretches how we even think about the universe. Phew. All right, so let's zoom out for a second. Why should we care about this? I mean, it's not like you're going to wake up tomorrow, buy some vacuum mirrors, and play Let's Break Physics. But the Scharnhorst effect is a perfect reminder of one thing. The universe is far weirder and more magical than even our best scientists ever imagined. And to me, that's what makes this whole human journey worth it. Okay, folks, so now I gotta know, what's your take? Does light breaking its own speed limit blow your mind? Or are you now convinced physics is the ultimate sci-fi? Let me know below. And while you're at it, share this with someone who loves discovering ideas that flip reality on its head. Until next time, keep questioning, keep wondering, and I'll see you in the next Hyperfocus adventure.